guys, I'm Sink. And I'm Echo. And we are back once again playing Okami. In this episode, we're going to head over to Susano's house to see if he can help us out with that boulder. So let's head back into the house. And that means it's hidey hole. Hi! Yeah, I'm the greatest. Yes, yes. Alright, come on. What the? Huh? Ah, I felt so well rested. I planned to meditate underground, but I fell fast asleep. Huh? Who are you? And what business do you have with the great Susano? <laughs> Susano, the greatest warrior ever. The great warrior, Susano. Even a beast known, f even the beast knows of my great expectations now. Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back into the mountains and play with your monkey friends. How dare a mangy mutt like you interrupt my meditation? Get a load of this guy. All brain and no, all brawn, and no brain. Quit messing around and come out and help us. Hmm? You snuck in here again? Quit bugging me, you, you bug. I told you I'm not. Don't call me a bug. Come on, Ami. Let's take him with us. What do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? <laughs> what neighbors? What? Ah, uh, so we've got Susano on our back now. Whoa! I also love. <laughs> We stop it, he's like shaking on us, like, oh, no. Spin him around in circles. <laughs> All right, let's take him over to the rock. All right, Susano, maybe you can help us out with this boulder problem. You mangy mutt. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me? Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade, Torimboku. Tohenboku, yes. Foo. Foo. Uh, was that an F or a K? I, Shit. I think it was a K. H hold on a minute. You're the legendary Susano. Y yep. None other than Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And by the way, I never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder is blocking my path. It's really getting in my way. I Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you're Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely this this one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? Hmm. It's certainly not beyond my ability. Really? Great. Okay, then no time like the present. Go for it. Wait. A boulder that says cannot ease be e very, cannot very easy even is not very easy even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify my power the power of my sword. I shall retrieve the. I'll retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen the guy train seriously. Ever. Right, let's go check on Susano. Drinking sake. Gosh, man. I know I told that merchant I would help, but a boulder of that size? I c don't care if I'm the legendary... It's... I'm a blood legendary bloodline. It's just too big. Huh? Oh no, I can't believe it. I've run out of sake at a time like this. This won't do one bit. That's it for today. I'll just have to train tomorrow. Training apparently is just... Him laying around drinking sake. Come on, Pops. It's no use. I can't even move. Without alcohol, this guy can't do jack shit, apparently. <sighs> Why do today what I can, what can be put off until tomorrow? That's doing things the Susano way. <laughs> sake? Does he really think we're gonna bring him some sake? Well... All right then, Mr. Hero needs sake. So, it's a good thing this town has its very own sake brewer. Hi. Oh, what a fine 
Looking Wolf. What's your name? Mine's Kushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sake Brewer Kushi. Working in the fields again, are ya? Isun, are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for, my, for making my sake, you know? But I have to manage the harvest all on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano give me a hand again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting to you. Alright. Why, Ami, I think you found a friend here. You don't meet many people who want to talk to you like you. Like, sorry, what? Talk to you like yeah. this. Yeah. You should talk to them two or three times. Being a guy and all, yes. So if there's an arrow over her head or whatever, that, oh, I bit her. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh hello there. I've got a bit of a problem, you know. I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it. But the mill's broken. A wicked monster broke it the other day. Okay. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without clean rice. Wow, that's too bad. I should never have let that monster try my new dunder brew, 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 brew. Brew, yeah. A broken mill and planting crop, that's all the things I get. Don't go giving monsters sake. They're bad enough sober. Jeez, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess this is a matter for a matter of fixing something that's broken. Sounds like something you could use your brush with. Sounds good. All right, so there's the. I know it's broken and all, but it shouldn't just be moving back and forth. All right. Well, there we go. Our mill's broken. Fixed. And now that it's fixed, it's now moving <coughs> forward. Doesn't work like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because the stream's going the other way, isn't it? What's this? The uh, mill's been <coughs> bent. Who on earth did that? I completely given up on the idea of making my sake. sake. Now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, not no time like the present. I better get started. All right, sounds good. All right, let's head on over to Kushi's house. Mill, mill, yes, right. Hello. Hello. You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing, thing this thing is here for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what, I got something I think you'll like. Hee <laughs> hee, here's some leftover stuff from the store. But I made it myself, it's called Visa of the Gods. Oh, but are you old enough to drink, Snowy? <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm over a hundred years old, so I think I'm good. All right, so with we'll see you. Eat the rice. Yes, balls. you can see. You rice balls. Balls of rice wrapped in seaweed. I bale of rice. What? Bale of rice. All right. With straw. All right. Well, now that we've got sake, we can head over to Susano's. Say, hey, got your sake. Now, come on, give her that rock. All right. Hmm? Hold it right there, you Fido. That smell. Is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? You offered this stuff so of the gods. F -f Fido, my friend, did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? Oh, what a glorious day. Ah, good old sake. A man without a dr without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it's said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. Of course, that's the aspect he'd focus on. <laughs> it's also clear now. Let the training begin. So, if we listen in, I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. So, he can't do it alone, so we have to help him with his training. Feast your eyes on this Susano style exploding implosion! That's like two opposites. Uh oh. There we go. Huh? Ah! Oh boy. 
Susano style exploding implosion. Oh. There we go. That's amazing! You sliced that huge rock clean in half! You really are something! <laughs> well, I didn't think you could do it, Pops! But me either! Uh, I mean, of course I could! After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever! You weren't just showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendant. Someone like you should have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway... <laughs> Kelly <Kelly's> starts sweating. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. D did you say m m monsters Oh, oh, of course, no problem! This is a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes, I shall rid this la these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susanio work his magic. Susan has <laughs> Susanio. <laughs> he shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, glorious Amaterasu. What a pleasure! What a pleasure to witness your horrid deeds! I am in awe. When you cleave the boulder in two, two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush to is to be witness to great art. Yeah. So do we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. No. Oh, it's Isun, 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 Isun! Stop calling me a bug. I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word. My word. <laughs> oh, relax, lady. Furball here is more comfy anyway. Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. Come on, Ami. Put your paw up or something. Oh, go on, shake. I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can hardly muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Yep, nope. Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village, my roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will float away as well and my powers will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Aw oh man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Amaterasu, could I be so bold as to request your assistance in regenerating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the location of nearby saplings on your map. Sounds good. All right, so we've got two saplings here, two guard, yeah, two guarding saplings here. So we know where we need to go. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Amaterasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. And she disappeared in very dramatic fashion. I hope it's roses. I like roses. <laughs> bah! I'm always itching for a good fight, but I sure don't want to poke my nose into any of this mess. Still, I'm stuck with furball here till I get all the brush skills. Anyway, Ami's a god and all. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's what the that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on those on that map. So we can do that. Yeah. Or we can feed the animals in this village. 
Right, we have, uh, is there, yes, there's a stand right here. Before we continue on, I did not read one, a poet, poem for Isun. Isun. Isun, the wandering artist, his ego is surely the largest. From sleeping in clothes, on a quest he goes, will rid Nippon of darkness. And to get the brush techniques. And to get the brush techniques, yes. Mostly that. Alright, so, let's head over to this merchant. Alright, okay, so, in here, do some shopping? Yeah, of course. Alright, let's sell. So, we've got treasures that we can sell. We've got glass beads, dragonfly bead, and rabbit statue we can sell for a couple yen. Okay. And we can, we want to keep that, so... Yeah, B. Alright, and buy, so... So, we need one seed, one herb, one... One meat, seed, one, one herb... One meat and one fish. Yeah, so. Um, while we're in the shop, we can explain vengeance slip, temporary deflects enemy attacks, exorcism slip, slightly damages enemies, uh, steel fish so steel fist sake, not fish, uh, temporarily increases attack power, and steel soul sake increases defense. Holy bonus, like we said before. Uh, gives you three units of health. So okay. we. So by the mirror, there's a group of hairs. That is. That is yeah. All right, let's feed them, and we'll do this all off screen. And they want what? Probably herbs. Yeah. Alright guys, so we went ahead and fed all of the animals in Kusa Village. And we are going to head out, but not before stopping off at the merchant one more time. To get more feed. To get more feed. Now, I recommend grabbing between 4 and not 11, thank you. Uh, I already have one more feed bags of yeah, seeds. Feed so... Four of each? Yeah, I'm going to grab four of each. Except for fish. Fish won't be important for a while. So we don't need to put yen, in, yen into that. But with that, let's head out of Kusa Village. And this does not look good. Huh? He probably knows already, Ami, but this is Shinsu Field. The most beautiful area of field of Nippon. At least it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, we've been getting a home of bad vibes. You better watch where we're going. You can look at the map by holding one the one button. Let's pay attention to the map. Alright, so let's head out. And you got some uh, enemy scrolls here. You uh, walk into them and then go into battle. Yes. Um, Wait, they're getting or it could disappear because cutscene. Uh, garden sapping marked on the map, yes. Uh, looks like it could fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed. <laughs> cursed zone. Yes. Do not want to be in cursed zones. Uh, they'll diminish your power. I believe they eat away at your ink. Uh, and your health. And your health, yes. So with that, uh, you can deflect... Scrolls by powers latching them and now will stun them for a bit. Uh, we'll run into a couple demon scrolls uh, as we move forward, but so we don't have to do anything about them right now, but in the meantime, yes, we can come see that indeed the guardian sapling does not look too good and we can't do anything about it at present. So with that, we're going to head over to this set. House. Yeah. Hello, person. Hello. Nameless man. What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and communing with nature as usual when I heard a loud rumble like an earthquake from the lake. Then a huge gust of wind blew, out, blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when I came to, it was like this. My art workshop was scattered across, scattered across the stream there, but it ended up, ended up vanished when a curse zone appeared. Uh, so, uh, he noticed a figure running from the from the lake towards Kamiki. 
Whoever it was, man, I hope it, Mother Earth kept him safe. All right, if we talk to him again, if we talk to him again, what's up, buddy? Curious about the cave? It's the entrance, the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. Some monsters moved in. There's a trippy crystal ball there. It makes plants grow, enshrined in there. You'd think gardeners would be flocking there for it. And actually, not too long ago, that Susano guy went marching in there. That's weird. Normally, he runs away at the sight of monsters. And he hardly seems like the type to go and have his hand at gardening. Anyway, it's bad karma, man. You should, you could be attacked if you went in. All right. Let's see one more time. Yep. Curious about Hunter Valley? All right, cool. Is there anything in this house? Uh, I don't know. So let's check. Unless I can pick up this leak. Nope. Nope, can't eat it. All right. I guess to Hunter Valley we go. To Hunter Valley. Hana Valley. Man. Hana looks depressing. Yeah. Oh, save, save mirror. I was going to save before we uh, left the village, but we can save now. All right. So, we've made it to Hana Valley. We're going to continue on to see maybe where Susano went. In this sappier place. Yes. And hopefully we can figure out something uh, how to restore the garden saplings. Until then, see you guys then. Bye.